everybody. You know what day it is. Yes, it's Thursday, which means new stuff from the developers for us to feast our eyes upon. So without further ado, let's take a look. Ah, it would seem somebody has left some loot at the top of this tower. But how on earth are we going to get up there? <sighs> God damn it, phone. Can't you see that I'm trying to ponder here? <coughs> Sorry about that. It would seem they've added this new climbable netting to the game, but I can't help but think about those climbable things at the playground. Besides its appearance, it functions like a normal ladder, and I'm excited to see some interesting base designs in the future. Oh, and be careful, the nets are only climbable from one side, which allows us to create the world's cheapest trap base. Are you the one in your group who always gets called out for making dumb decisions? Whether it's, hey, let's go raid this base with 10 people inside, or hey, let's go on a cave adventure and die to spikes of death. Well, fear no more, because they've added a new spinner. This fancy new hypnosis device allows the game to make your decisions for you. Simply place it down anywhere, and I mean anywhere. Hold E, select paint and draw something you want to spin. You can lock your edits and allow anybody to spin it, unless only you would like to spin it, in which case you can set it to owner only. So, what else is new? Well, there's now a 2% chance that you can find a supply drop inside of a military crate. Grass is now displaced if it is clipping through a foundation, so no longer will you have a jungle inside of your base. Although, trees and bushes still clip through the foundations. They have also added refineries to both of the harbours, although I couldn't figure out where they placed it. They said it was in risky places, I searched the whole harbour and I couldn't find any. It does state that you won't be able to see the changes on official servers until the next wipe, but I wiped my server and I still couldn't find it. The M249 has had new sound changes, but what's funny is it sounds louder with the suppressor on than without. Speaking of suppressors, the suppressor wouldn't work if a hollow sight was placed on a gun before the suppressor. This has now been fixed. The foot stepping sound effects were sometimes not heard until you were practically next to a player. This of course has been fixed. Vending machines inside of doorways would randomly break. This has been fixed. The heavy metal armor had a radiation value of 50 per piece of armor. This was way too high and thankfully has been lowered to 7 or 24 in total. Those annoying spike traps in caves now have a little tunnel so you can retrieve your loot. Although I don't see you retrieving it because the spikes kill you instantly and yes I had 100 HP. If you were wondering why you couldn't create custom skins for beds, that's because the developers were working on a new model for it. And I gotta say, it does look rusty, but I wouldn't want to sleep on that. Other than a few FPS fixes, that's about it for the fixes this week. Now, let's look at what we could be seeing soon. The wood armor reskin is almost finished, and they are just working on fixing some clipping issues. As said here, we could be seeing it next week. I'm excited for this one, because instead of duct tape wood attached to you, it's gonna look pretty good now. Pretty Gucci! They finally finished the model for the tier 1 workbench and I gotta say, it's looking pretty good. They didn't state when we were going to see the workbench, but I'm gonna guess around 1-2 to two weeks. But they did hint on some binoculars being added to the game soon, which sounds awesome and I can't wait. And that is about everything you need to know for this update, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave a full list of the changes in the description below. I will also leave a link to the dev blog so you can have a look for yourself at all those smexy images. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, and thank you for watching. Goodbye everybody, have a good day, enjoy your night, and enjoy placing spinners everywhere you possibly can!